In our example, you will see how an application can utilize multiple open text IMS APIs to support business processes, such as the recruitment flow depicted here. Started from a candidate application initiation and on to outbound and inbound email processing and document capture, to verification, signature, and approval workflows, every aspect of our HR application has been enhanced through IMS APIs. So let's look at the application. As a recruiter, the best way to work with an application would be through a dashboard. As a developer, the best way to work is to focus on the right thing, which is how to put things together in, in a very beautiful way and not how to store data and where to store it. So everything that you see on the screen comes from different services on the IMAS backend. So for example, the tasks are coming from the workflow service. The cases and the favorites parts are coming from the CMS services, which hold metadata and other specific information. If I go inside a case, the CMS is going to give me all of the necessary details, like um, the candidate name, email, date of birth, and, and stuff that are stored as metadata of this case. We can also store some other things like a business log and also have a link to the active processes where the workflow service can automatically generate this kind of process diagram and show it in line with your application. Because the case is actually a folder object, it can also contain documents. And documents are a special type of objects which contain both metadata and content. And they have different types of, uh, of functionalities. Like, for example, if I go into a document, like a form proof of ID, it is going to have some specific metadata, like expiry date, issuing country, or the, the type of the ID. Well, here is a case where we use core capture in order to automatically identify and extract this kind of data from the document itself. We also have a viewing service that can natively view the format of the document within the application user interface. So you can see all of the data in here. Of course, we have system metadata like created by, create time. We have the concept of different renditions. We have different versions of documents. So everything is in the IMS API, so you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just need to make uh, your UI show all of the information that you need. In another case, for example, we use different types of service to automatically extract metadata. Like, for example, in the case of a CV, we are using risk card service to extract person names and organization names automatically from the document. So you can see them inside your metadata system. And lastly, we have another type of document in this application, which is the, the letter document. Well, the letter document, besides its own metadata, can also be linked to the signature service APIs and retrieve all of the right information for the, from that service so that the recruiter can instantly see on the screen who did what, so who signed, when they signed, who emailed, who was emailed, and so on. And also, the possibility to query the, the signature service to get a log of that, of what happened. So, for example, we see here the, the signature of the candidate. Now, in the same time, the candidate has the possibility to work through their email, through notifications, and we can also use the core content APIs. Well, core content is a, is a special type of cloud application that can show metadata and content within what we call a workspace. This workspace is available as standalone, like in this case, where we can, we can easily see different types of documents that were exposed to this, um, uh, to this case, or it can be embedded into an enterprise application or leading HR application so that the same um, user experience is going to be, um, uh, to be shown to the, to the candidate after their recruiter. Now, you have just seen how OpenText IMS APIs were leveraged to build a functional recruitment application for hiring manager and candidate with replaced siloed platforms and manual process with automation and secure digitization to reduce costs. Provides an easy access to monitor hiring processes, view data, analyze, and promptly respond to shortened cycles, and offers candidates the ability to provide information via their preferred channel for an improved user experience.
Imagine being able to focus on delivering your, your users' needs and experience while leveraging the heavy lifting to the IMS cloud. We take care of all the content, data, reporting, and business processes, all while assuring security, retention, and other information governance controls. Great, that was a really good demo. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Alexandru. So now I'd like to ask you some questions. Uh, first of all, to you, Marita. How does the developer cloud help build applications? Hi, Claire. Thanks. So one of the first considerations that a lot of development teams consider when they're going in to build an application is the infrastructure and the related hard dollar costs that come with that from provisioning it and standing it up. So for them, it's it's really highly desirable to avoid those costs. But then as well as just the infrastructure, there's the maintenance and the ongoing support of that as well. So being able to leverage in, in a managed service such as IMS to negate all of that is a highly valuable piece, especially when they look to adopt cloud technologies and, and cloud going forward. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah, how about uh, yourself, Morelia? Uh, thanks, Claire. Uh, the developer cloud and the various IMAS services uh, helps me to avoid reinventing the wheel. Uh, I can make use of uh, the proven standardized services uh, in building my application, for example, workflow and signature uh, services, thus helping me to show faster time to value. Perfect. And what's your view, Chris? I give a little bit of a developer background. I, many years ago, I got into development um, writing NSAPI plugins for Netscape Enterprise Servers, which is a truly ancient technology, and that was which was really hard to work in. And and today's younger developers are really lucky because are lucky because the technology has changed, become easier to work with. About 20 years ago, everybody started talking about service-oriented architecture or SOA, that that was gonna revolutionize mm -hmm. everything with the idea of creating small reusable business um, services that would make it easier to develop, deploy, and consume. Fortunately, SOA really never came to fruition for most, but it had the right mm -hmm. idea. And today's RESTful APIs have really re made that possible. Uh, as an Angular REST developer, what's easier than consuming a REST API to um, retrieve or act on data? Uh, I can, of course, create my own APIs using technologies like um, Spring Boot or uh, Node.js, but there's more and more APIs out there that I can use to do cool things like um, address verification to show a map or to interact with social media platforms. And I love that OpenText is now offering APIs that developers anywhere can incorporate into their application, especially since they're providing functionality that has been traditionally really hard to, um, to do. When we developed our application, uh, we didn't have to install any software. We didn't have to learn any programs. We just had to review the API documentation and then call the services mm -hmm. that we needed. And, and as a group, we're really excited to see how these APIs are gonna be used in different contexts and industries. Great, thanks, Chris. And what about you, Alexandre? Yeah, so I think um, I think one of the most important things uh, for me is uh, how to do my job more efficiently. So, um, and the, in my job, I would like to get that wow effect from from the people that I talk to, and um, the IMS APIs actually help me build and uh, create and focus on, on on the UI part of it, and on that let's say wow effect um, uh, from uh, the presentations that I do, from the demonstrations that I do. If you like, it's like, um, um, I don't know, building a bicycle and just gathering all of the uh, underlying uh, pieces and components, and then I will decide what kind of bicycle I would like to build. I would like a mountain bike or like a street bike, a downhill bike, and, and whatever. But a everything that uh, that I have is, um, uh, is my creativity, and I don't need to bother, um, I don't know, spinning up an entire system, a lot of uh, a lot of virtual machines or um, or things that uh, um, 
um, in the background, like uh, security or so making sure that nobody else can access that data that I'm uh, I'm using there, and so on. So. So for, for me, uh, the best thing was the fact that I can plug all of these things together and create one beautiful mm -hmm. uh, application. Makes sense. Some really good answers there. Thank you. And of course, the, the documentation on the IMS service is also available um, on developer.opentext.com and you can sign up for a trial there too.